Hey everyone and welcome to week 28 of the OLED burning test and as with the last few videos what we'll start with is the information with regards to the TV panel so as you can see from the UTT uh, used hours is now 1210 OLED uh, compensation count which is the mini, mini pixel refresher is 229 and the major pixel refresher is 1 so with that I'll just exit out of that and I will restart the test. Uh, usage for the past week has been, uh, let me just get that into focus, sorry. Yeah, so usage for the past week has been mainly gaming. Um, since the last test, which was done on Saturday, um, I believe, maybe, uh, I think it was the Champions League final uh, that I watched after that. And then from that point onwards, uh, it was mainly gaming, as well as uh, some TV shows and a few movies about two last two or three days. Uh, so a movie each night. Um, other than that, all the rest of the usage uh, from the last test uh, has all been gaming. Um, mainly Fortnite. Uh, I think there may have been a little bit of mixed, mixed gaming. I think there was some FIFA thrown in there as well. But for the most part, it was Fortnite. Um, I did have a comment from somebody uh, on one of my videos with regards to the Pixel, um, the logo luminance saying, sorry, um, and basically stating that they got burn in after, I think he'd mentioned 13 months of ownership. So obviously, with that, um, he did mention that it was from news broadcasts so i mean that's something that i've mentioned on this channel in the past the fact that look if if you're going to be watching that kind of um content then you need to be more wary of of burning um and not leave it on certain channels like that but for the most part as you can see from my usage mainly gaming a lot of static content nothing where yeah, so nothing where you can get really, really vivid colours or anything like that. Um, gaming tends to be, you're always moving about, so even with the static content, you've still got um, they're more of an overlay, so you've still got moving content in the background. Right, so as it cycles through, um, greys from black through to white or most of the greys well all of the greys I can't notice anything no no vignetting no burning issues just looking on the blue nothing cyan clean the green is all good and the magenta through into the red similar thing so I, I can't notice anything to the eye what I'll do is I'll just watch it through the phone screen once as well just to make sure that you're seeing what I'm seeing. And it does look all good. Um, for those who might have clicked onto the video who don't really don't know what this is about. So this is my LG C9 OLED. I purchased this back in February of 2019, I believe it was. Um, and I've been using it, sorry, February of 2020. Um, and I've been using it since then. Um, and the idea behind these videos is basically for anybody out there that is uh, either curious about OLED burning um, because I think it probably would have been maybe the C8, C9s, I can't remember exactly which which um, year group it came under but uh, LG basically doubled, doubled the size of the red subpixel which is the one that tends to to suffer most from from degradation and then obviously leads to burning uh, what we consider and most people understand to be burning which is the the pixels literally dying out faster than than others um, or the colors within the sub pixels dying out faster than others which then leads to ghosting and burning um, funnily enough i've never actually seen that kind of um, the all the TVs that demonstrate this this burning um, I've never actually watched any other content or seen any videos of them playing any other content on those particular sets so I'm not 100% um, sure whether it's viewable in uh, normal content so just normal videos that you watch or whether it's only on these kind of color tests that it would actually show up but either way obviously those particular sets there are 
there are examples out there on YouTube. Um, if you search, I'm sure you'll find plenty of them um, showing burning on OLED panels. And the idea behind these videos was literally just to show my journey in terms of um, what I'm using it for, the hours I'm using it for. So obviously now at the start of the videos, I'm putting up the hours to show th just to make sure that nobody can come back at a later date and claim that, oh no, this is literally just back-to-back -back videos that he's recorded. Um, you can see the hours going up each week as, as I'm doing these videos. And the idea is just to keep a track of um, if any burning does occur and at what stage it occurs and also what type of usage I've been putting it through. So for me, for the most part, um, whilst it's had a lot of mixed usage, uh, the majority of the usage has been gaming uh, and that's pretty much from day one and that's not um, babying the TV in any way either so basically it is long periods um, five six hours at a time um, on occasions so um, the way I see it is obviously the technology is it's there to enjoy so that's pretty much what I'm I'm I set out to do but these these videos are for anybody else out there that might be worried about the the situation with burning um so yeah um if you check the lgc9 playlist out you'll be able to track this right from the very first few ones i didn't do it straight away i started doing it, i think it was around eight weeks in